Barista for Pritchard. Barista for Pritchard. How much coffee do I put in? Do I do I tamp it down though or not? Oh! Hang fire. But according to this, a little hop, skip and a jump across onto this path, which is... Which I presume is that one that says you can't get in. God damn it. Well, that's good. No, bad up. Is it? I tell thee what, that was a fast finish. Yeah, 16k an hour. Good. Right, shall we head back to England now and do one indoors? Go on then. Tra... Tra... Uh, Look at the camera and say transition. Transition! Cheers Chris, thank you. It's hard to watch that now. To see how innocent I was. See how vital I was. Naive. Innocent. Today should have been the FTP test, <sighs> but it's not happening. A few of the OG viewers might remember a video I put out going back to 2017, 18, where I spoke about uh, an issue I had with my back. I've got two partial slip discs right at the bottom and everyday life is fine. I get by. I can live with it, but when I put it under undue stress, then it can become a problem. So cast your mind back to um, Thursday of the New York and training camp, 130 kilometers. I ended up going up um, the Soyer, five kilometers. It's about six, seven percent average graded, something like that. Switch back to galore. After that, it descends down pretty much the same distance, goes along the flat a little bit into the town of Soyer and then up, what I didn't realise was the, 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 the pig, or Puig Major, or Puig Major, however you want to pronounce it. Um, big ass climb, it's like 12 kilometres, I'm sure it took me about an hour, I can't remember exactly, but I was climbing for a long old time. Look at it, look at it, I'm above the clouds. No bites, come at me. Pray for me, Jesus, pray for me. That's what started this. Just sat in the saddle, glutes getting tighter, bike getting worse, just a real tightness came over my bike. Five hours in the saddle. Yes, I should have stretched. I know that, but I didn't, all right? Get over it. I did a little bit, but not enough. And over that week, went out for another ride, sat on the plane, traveled back, went and played football, and although football was ultimately the thing that, that I guess you'd call it the uh, the straw that broke the camel's back, uh, I woke up on Wednesday morning, I was in absolute agony, absolute agony. Do you know what? I'm heading as a physio now, so um, come along with me, check it out, you'll see how bad my back is, and we'll um, hopefully get me back onto the road to get back out on the bike. And um, fingers crossed, average Joe to pro ain't over before it's even began. Hello everybody, it's me, Chris Pritchard, and I'm here at the Sheffield Therapy Centre. Some would consider this my church. This is my church. This is where I heal my hurts. Because tonight, Mark is not a DJ, he's a physio, and hopefully he's going to make me better. Like and subscribe. Just take a step forward for me, Chris. Um, a little bit further again, just a touch further again. Right, so in standing there, what we're looking at is something called PSIS, and we're looking at the level of the electrical little dimples. Yeah. In standing there, the right one is just a tiny, tiny smidgen higher than the left at the moment. And if you ever bend forward towards your toes. That's as far as I can go. Okay, just try and go a bit further for me. See if you can go any further. Can you see my right foot? It's just right yeah. over there. Okay, and then take your time, Chris, and just return back to normal. It's, I can feel it all the way down my, my hamstring. Oh, yeah. And then have a bend, and you can see here, 
the time it's there, everything's just bunching and pulling together. Have you ever been back the tour with me, Chris? Yeah, there. And again, we can see how tight that is. More of an art there. And this is just all squashed into this area. Okay, mate, take just stand nice and straight for me. It's not just fat rolled, is it? <laughs> There's none there. It's just I've got something to grip onto. <laughs> like, I've got. I'm jealous. With this side, if you just slide that left hand down your left leg. And again, what we're looking at is, is an arc there. We've got a bit of an arc, but we're not kind of moving as probably as far as we should do. Okay, and then come back to the middle. And then if you go over to your right side, go on, just squash on that area. And we can see it doesn't move, unless it just does all the movement from that, that level there. So that's pretty much a straight line there. Okay, and then just stand up nice and straight for me, buddy. So that clip preceded what was the next, probably the most painful 45 minutes of my life. It always is. I mean, there was tightness everywhere. Um, and it, you know a good physio when they start working on something that has absolutely no relevance to the pain that you've been complaining about. So um, he started work on my right thigh down my IT band because like he said, everything's getting scrunched up from there and it's pulling my glute round, which is then in turn pulling all the quad and all the IT band across I guess you'd say it's externally rotating it, I think, which is creating it to, to shorten, which causes a hell of a lot of pain. So all that was loosened up. Then my bike was loosened up and then my glutes were loosened up. Anyway, the end of the session, I um, I wanted to check with Mark and get him to show you exactly what was uh, what's going on in the, uh, in the old spine. All right, before we start, this is Mark, right? Hello. This is, I've said it before in the videos, you are you are the only person that got me to the Commonwealth Games. And I don't want to brown nose you in front of the camera, but it needs to be said, had you not done that, we wouldn't have gone. Bless you, thank you very much. Mate. Right, explain to me what's going on in my back, please. Okay, sir. right, the way we've put together, we've got the, the white parts of the big building blocks of the spine, the vertebrae. They come around the side and make these little knobbly bits, which are facets. Um, the facets and the spinous processes attach uh, muscles to them. So when we bend and stretch, these muscles pull like a lever, squash, and that's why we bend. In between where these facets are, we've got the nerves, and the nerves run to various different parts of the body. The bottom one goes down the back of the leg, next one the side of the leg, thigh, um, and then kind of into here to the, the thigh and the groin. Essentially, if the muscles are really tight, what happens, it will squash against the nerves, then the nerve will radiate pain and stop the muscles working. And that's what we're getting uh, on yours there, Chris. So the nerves come out of the back here. The nerves are getting a little bit squashed here into this area. So we're nipping the nerve and that's radiating the pain and stopping the muscles kind of performing as normal. And then as we come past the, the pelvis on the cyclist a lot of times, what we find is because you're in flex position all the time, we, we lose the ability to go backwards and forwards. So we're getting really stiff into there as well. And then the glutes, also the nerve comes past the, the pelvis then into the glute. And if the glute's tight from all the hard effort, it squashes there as well. So you're your nerves, if you like, in effect, are getting squashed into the back here, mm -hmm. getting stiff past the pelvis, and then getting squashed against the glutes, and we try and free that off and make you normal again. On a scale of one to ten, how f am I? <laughs> <laughs> Can we move it up to eleven? Can we crank it up enough? Is it eleven? Let's go eleven. Yeah. Oh, brilliant. We'll get you back down to a, a zero, hopefully. And That's the plan. Yeah, absolutely. Louis. Yeah. Louis. Come in here. Louis. What's up? I've been lazy for half an hour. Pass me that, pass me that tissue paper, this has gone way past serious. Operation mud bath is, uh, is in full effect right now. Can you... I'm just going to pan to this green screen. Thing. So clearly the FTP test isn't going to happen this week. We're going to have to postpone that for a week. Oh God. Can you smell that? No. Stay there then. Um, so join us next week for the FTP. Hopefully I'll be back to full fitness and fully cleaned. Um, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, Louis gets the uh, the dustpan, you just gonna have to chuck that straight out of the toilet I think. <laughs>